Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are memory keeping of the week of December 12th through the 18th. This was our last week of school for this semester and I have a really cute kit to use this week. It's adorable. I had to get it. It's called Christmas Movies from Scribble Prince Co. I love it so much. Now she does do the split washi now, like pretty much for every kit. So I pulled out some foil. I'm just going to have to get some more foil if I'm going to keep using kits like this. But I did find some things that will work for this week. So here are the full boxes. This is just so cute. I love the color scheme because it's totally different from pretty much everything else I'm using this season. Lots of glitter headers. There's so many boxes to work with in this kit. I've even got some more in here somewhere. I don't know where I put them. I'll find them in a minute. So here are extra full boxes here. Glitter headers, lots of boxes and labels. I love the patterns. They're so cute. And then here's the bottom washi, another full box. And I'm going to use this, these dots, for my bottom washi. And then I found these in my collection. So these are from Jessica Hearts. These are so cute. And I think I need, like, one of these, like, these two right here because... This was a tough week to get through. It was a good one. It was good, but it was just like exhausting. And then I found some extra boxes here. I might even pull in some more. I don't know. We're just going to have to like go with the flow here. Here are those other two boxes. Those are pretty cute. I don't know which ones I want to use this week. I think I want to use all of these because they're super cute. But then we have like the food flatly. I don't know. We're just going to have to figure it out as I go. So a lot didn't happen like the first half of the week, but the second half was pretty busy. So I think we're ready to just go ahead and get started. So let's do it. So I'm going to start with the bottom washi. Um, it is in two pieces. So I went ahead and put down the mauve one first, and I'm going to do a little overlay on top of that like I showed in the intro. It's going to be really cute. I decided not to do any overlays on the bottom one. I just felt it was busy enough and it didn't need anything. So I'm just popping these little um, the polka dot ones on the top strip. And then we're gonna go to the whole spread and start working on glitter headers and date covers. I'm using what's in the kit, but I am pulling in some date numbers. These are from Sadie Stickers. She just has the best stuff. And I've got quite the collection from being a PR girl for her for like three years. And so I'm using what I have. So I'm using these really plain ones. I just wanted to go with something simple this week. So I'm just using these. It's like a Times New Roman font. And I think it looks really good with the rest of the foil in the kit that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use quite a bit this week. I kind of went like all out. <laughs> so we're going to start with glitter headers across the top. I was thinking I was going to color block this week. And then once I got going, I completely forgot. So that was <laughs> something that didn't really work out, but I do think the spread looks beautiful as I build it. I'm going in the color order of the kit so that the date covers will match the glitter headers. And I love the colors in this kit. Super fun, especially like for this part of the year. Just kind of unexpected. Really pretty. They look almost like spring colors, but with the artwork and everything, totally leans holiday. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and put in the rest on the other side. Then we're going to go to the deco. There was quite a bit to work with in this kit. Um, her mini kits really have tons of options now. They used to be pretty simple, but now they're like totally worth it for me. They work with my style really well. And as you can see, I had tons of full boxes to work with. I didn't use all of them, but I used quite a few. I think the only one that I didn't really use was the... Um, the double box scene, which I'm not like totally keen on using those all the time. So sometimes I'll use them. Sometimes I'll use one box. This week I just left them out all together. But I do love the full boxes in this kit. The mix of the flat lays with the girls, with the, the DVDs. I just think it's so cute. And I just put those in my normal spots on an average week. Then going to my sidebar, I'm just very quickly building that. I always build it the same way. It's my journaling section. I'll come back and finish it at the end of the spread, but I do like to add a little header at the top and then a box at the bottom for my favorite moment. I just added a little rose gold heart on there. And then I'm going into the deco across the top. It's a lot, but I love it. This week it just looks really busy and it was a fun week, so I like how it looks. But I just layer these across the top and then I trim off the 
parts that are not on the paper. Sometimes I'll reuse them as you see here and then I just clean up everything, make it look nice and sleek. And then just adding one more there. Just trying to fill up all the space. Okay, just adding a little bit of more deco to my sidebars to kind of fill it out a little bit. And then I added in the weekend banner and then it going to Monday. So starting out here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my video thumbnail so that I don't forget because often I do if I don't do them right at the beginning of working on the weekdays. I did put in videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week as usual. I was still working on my goal planning series, so if you wanna check that out, feel free. I'll try and remember to link it down in the description. So going to Monday, this was our last week of school before Christmas break, so there was a lot going on, but it also had like some fun moments and some like chill moments. So I tried to like, balance everything this week. I don't know that I did a super great job at it, but I tried my best. So I'm putting in a couple of overlays, just kind of thinking about it as I was looking at the spread, and I just decided to take a break and do that real quick, and then I'll get back to the actual plans on Monday. Okay, so finally, I'm putting in a little quarter box up there at the top of Monday, and I'm going to add in a cute little gold laptop sticker. So I was trying to work on some plans in January, like lesson plans and things. I was like stopping and starting on them all week, but I did get the first week of January done. So I guess that's a win. And then below that, I finished up all of my grading. I think I had like one more thing to grade the next day, but pretty much all my grading got done this day. And it was just like, I hate grading. It's my least favorite thing about teaching. And I put in this little exhausted um, When Smart With Love munchkin. And then below that, I put a little note here on the hexagon that this was the midway point of the whole school year, which is exciting. Um, it's been a good year so far. It's been challenging in a lot of ways, but it's also been really rewarding. So I, I can't complain. It's been a good one. So I put in a full box below that. And then on this third box, I put that we celebrated my friend Holly's birthday. She actually had her birthday the week before that she was sick with the flu or COVID. I can't remember. Anyway, she was really sick. And so she got back to school this day. So we celebrated her birthday with some cookies and gifts, of course. And then um, I made a note below here that I forgot to clean. Hmm. I don't know that I forgot more than like, I just didn't want to do it all week. I just, I didn't want to do it. I was tired and like I knew the next week I'd have a few days before I visited family to work on stuff. So I didn't do any of my housework until like the weekend, but that's all right. <laughs> on Tuesday, I used one of the deco pieces and a little thing to mark in that I just had far too much, too much food all over the place, just too much. And my stomach hurt like all week because I was just eating like everything in sight. <laughs> I don't know what my problem was. I think it's just like it's available. And like once you start on the sweets train, you can't stop. But underneath that, I put that I'm unfocused, tired, completely unmotivated. Probably because I'm not eating well. I'm not sleeping well because I'm staying up too late. It was just like a vicious circle this week. Hopefully once January rolls around, I'll get back on schedule. But for now, it's just like a, a slow downward roll into into just chaos for right now. Um, I did watch a couple of Christmas movies while I was doing some things around the house and doing a little bit of editing and I also did a little bit of stretching so I'm gonna put that on a little thing. I should have pulled a Christmas sticker for that movie marquee but I think I just forgot. I was watching some on Netflix if you were wondering. They were okay. Nothing I would like super recommend. On four, Wednesday the 14th, um, I started with a sticker, again, super tired this week, and I almost fell asleep at my desk. Like I was, I had my head in my hand resting on my desk and my superintendent came in to give us like our Christmas gift. And I was like, I think I was asleep with my eyes open for a second. And I put here that I need a break. I think everybody gets to this point, kids and teachers, we just need a little break. And thankfully it was coming up soon. Underneath that, I'm putting on a um, box here that my seasonal affective disorder hit me pretty hard this week. I think the other thing that was like making me tired and anxious and everything was not getting any outside time. It was pretty cold this week and I just didn't make the effort 
to use my light lamp and like take care of myself in lots of different ways as you can see. So that definitely hit a little harder than it probably should have. And then um, below that, I started this show on Netflix. I haven't quite finished it. I think I have like one or two more episodes, but it's like the Harry and Meghan um, miniseries documentary thing. And it's been really good so far. I like it. Um, it's like kind of sad, but um, above that, I just, this is encompassing my attitude this day, whatever. Um, or it says whatevs. And I just put a glitter header there just to fill some space. On the 15th on Thursday, this was actually a really fun day. Um, we had some time in the afternoon with the kids just to play around. And so we went bowling at our activity center. There's like so much to do in there. And we didn't even know there was a bowling alley in there. But it was really fun. We bowled for like two and a half hours. And we also played a game this day. And we were like there's like these little Grinch images and like there were four people that had them and you had to like ask people are you a Grinch and then they have to give it to you anyway I won and I didn't know that while we were bowling two of my friends had them too so we got back to school after we were done with all this like activity stuff and I thought that I was like the only one in our group that had one turns out they did too we were all hiding out in the bowling alley <laughs> but I didn't even get one until like the very end which was kind of fun like I was like, I snuck one behind my back um, from a friend who was leaving early. Anyway, super fun. On Friday, we exchanged gifts at school, like all of my friends, and that was really fun. We all got lots of fun things. And then we had some quick meetings. So I'm just going to use a little thing with this Fox and Pip sticker. And we actually got out at noon, which was really nice. Actually, before noon, I, I think. Um, but we got out early. And so... A couple of my friends and I went to a local bar and had some food and a couple of drinks. And I don't really drink that much anymore, so it was just nice to like relax and eat food and like have fun with some friends after school. And then I went home and I took a big fat nap because I was like so exhausted. I can't even like tell you <laughs> how tired I was. I it was just like a combination of so many things that I've again already mentioned but um after that I made myself some snacks and I had some snacks and I just like caught up on some YouTube and had fun by myself chilling out after my like three hour nap which was really nice but this rolled into like a bad habit of staying up too late that I still have not quite figured out like fixed and it's like the end of December that I'm filming this voiceover so it's not something that I'm proud of, but it just happened. Um, on Saturday, I slept in, obviously, again. And um, again, just like feeling a lot of like anxiety and like just feeling not myself. And so I put in the sticker that says, um, it'll be all right, okay? And it's from Fox and Pip. At the very bottom, I had a headache. I think it was just like eating crap all week and then like maybe sleeping even too much. I don't know. But I had a headache that evening and I put a note here, could it be all the sugar that I've been eating this week? Because I don't really eat a ton of sugar. And it was like out of character, out of norm, the like normal realm of what I eat. So could have been that. Who knows? I put this little graphic that I found on Reddit above that that I really liked. And then I was just watching some Hulu documentaries, just like kind of catching up on some different things. And I have this Fox and Pip sheet. That's where I pulled that sticker from. But uh, just like a general chill out day. On Sunday, I just did some filming and editing. I was trying to get ahead because I knew I was going out of town in a few days from here. So I was trying to get like ahead on all of my filming and editing. And I, I made a dent in it, I would say. And then that evening, I babysat my nephews. We hung out, we had some ice cream, we um, played with Hot Wheels for like an hour and a half, and then they went straight to bed, and it was it was great. I watched 13 going on 30 before my sister and brother-in-law got home. It was a great day, great week, really, besides just feeling physically not good, but in general, a really good week. So we're going to go to the other side, and I'm going to fill in my journaling section over here. So I wrote, it could have been an awful week, but it wasn't at all. I had fun. Yes, I was exhausted, but I chose rest and it helped. I think that was key for me this week. Like I really just needed to accept that it wasn't a normal week and I just needed to 
to just like go with the flow, you know? Which I'm not a go, in, go with the flow kind of gal, but I tried this week. And then my favorite moment of the week was time with my nephews. They're just so fun and they're at a really fun ages and I just have so much fun with them. Okay, then we're gonna open up the spread and I'm just gonna add a little bit more foil. I feel like I had a good balance this week and I just wanted to add a little bit more to kind of make sure the whole spread was covered, you know? So I'm just adding some little hearts. All this is in rose gold foil. And I just love the look of like little tiny pieces of foil everywhere. It's just really fun. And again, pretty much all of this foil is from Sadie's Stickers. That is my go-to foil shop. Here is this spread all finished. I think it turned out so adorable. I just, I love this. I'm so glad that I chose for it to be a good week because it definitely could have been a horrible one. And this is just one that I'm going to look back on and, and love. I hope that you enjoyed this spread as well. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I will see you next time. Bye!